Hey there, press the bell icon and never miss a video on cyber security and technology. Hello everyone, this is Ansh from Bitten Tech and in this video we are going to discuss on the requirements to become a professional and experienced ethical hacker. I will discuss all the things you need to know, all the prerequisites for becoming a cyber security professional and getting a highly paid job in this field. So let's get started. After the popularity of my previous video on careers in ethical hacking, I was asked to make more videos related to starting a career in this field. So I decided to make another part of that video in which I will tell you how you can become a certified ethical hacker and what all you need to do for that. There is a saying that to beat a hacker, you need to become one. This is absolutely correct because due to the widespread increase in digitization of companies and services all over the world rapidly, the attacks on privacy and breaches on security are increasing day by day. That means the black hat hackers are increasing and companies are in very urgent need for someone who can tackle these black activities and make their services more secure and protected. That someone is nothing but an ethical or a white hat hacker who can test the security level and can work against these attacks and will help to prevent them in future. As I have already said, there is a huge demand for ethical hackers not only in India but all over the world. But very few of them are produced. So there is a high scope in this field and also the amount paid to them is quite high as well. Ok now let's talk about how you can become an ethical hacker and what all you should know and achieve for this. First of all, you should have at least basic knowledge about computers and networking. With basic knowledge I mean booting of computers, basic input output devices, how a computer communicates through a network with other computers, the basic network structures namely LAN, MAN, WAN the communication techniques such as wired and wireless connections, ethernet connection, Wi-Fi. You should know about firewalls, intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems and how they work. You should have basic knowledge of CPU processing, storage devices and types of memories like primary and secondary memory. memory. You should also have a strong knowledge base of networking for this purpose. Knowledge of computer networks and how computers are connected is very important in this field. Then only you will be able to capture data traveling through the network, transfer payloads and do many types of penetration testing. So for this, you should know about the network architectural model or more commonly called the OSI model. The types of IP addresses, public IP, local IP, dynamic and static IPs. Knowledge of routers, modems, hubs, switches, gateways is also needed. Methods of connection like wired, wireless, DSL, broadband and satellite. Basic knowledge of two or more operating systems is a must. Windows being most popular, but a hacker's favorite operating system is Linux. So learn about Linux and Unix. Know how to operate it and command it. After you have acquired basic information on all of this, the next step is to learn some programming languages. You might be wondering why I need to learn this. Do I have to develop a software after becoming a hacker? Actually no. But you should learn at least some important languages because you have to write your own scripts for your attacks in your profession. Otherwise you will be just using other people's scripts and you will be just a script kiddie. Then what's the use of your knowledge then? So learn some common languages, firstly C++, Java, Ruby and Perl. You should learn Python for making your own scripts in Python language because it's easy to learn and implement. After this, learn about website development for working on web applications and web servers. Basically you must know about HTML and JavaScript. 
you should know how dynamic web pages are built and how scripts work you can also learn styling with css to make your own websites but it's not that mandatory then you should have a grasp on command prompts and command shell if you have knowledge of shell and shell commands then it's well and good third step is to take technical and professional courses on ethical hacking cyber security and penetration testing attend workshops seminars whatever and whenever you can on this and never miss a chance to gain knowledge on them there are number of online courses available for ethical hacking both free and paid some of them are cyberry udemy coursera and many more take any of them and start learning and implementing in these courses you will learn about information gathering about your target footprinting scanning system hacking hacking web servers and web applications bypassing firewalls intrusion detection systems and honey pots data hiding in cryptography and stenography password hacking with brute force and dictionary attacks hacking wifi networks wep and wpa cracking passwords and hashes with popular tools you will learn about some popular hacking techniques namely denial of service sql injection buffer overflow cross site scripting and social engineering study all of them in detail so all that i have discussed till now are all technical aspects and theory approaches now whatever i will discuss will only be based on one's own will and determination and what you can call is soft skills after you have gained much knowledge on mentioned topics it's time to do hands on practical knowledge is above all you may have ocean of knowledge within you but unless you can do that practically in real time effectively the knowledge is of no use this field is totally based on practical approach you should be able to attack and hack practice and practice and practice keep doing whatever you learn but always on your own system do not harm others you are here for knowing how to go ethical so remain ethical test your knowledge on yourself try to hack yourself just focus on hands on you must know how to do it only after that you will become fluent and efficient you should have urge to learn new things as well as you know new technologies are introduced every day so new techniques will be introduced regularly so keep yourself updated with the latest technologies and attacking techniques you should have good problem solving skills as well you should know how to tackle new vulnerabilities and attacks on them learn how to communicate have good communication skills within your job you have to communicate with other people to stay coordinated and respected always remember practice makes a man perfect the more you practice the more close you are towards starting your career the next thing is take a certification from top authorities see getting a certificate is very good and highly advisable but at the same time it's not necessary as well after completing your course and getting a certificate you will become a certified ethical hacker and companies will recognize you by this certification and you will get a highly paid job very easily but don't focus on getting a certificate talent is more important even without the certificate you can become a white hat hacker and get a nice earning as well but if you are experienced know all the things can do hands on completed your course then you shouldn't mind getting a certificate as an appraisal top communities which provide ceh certifications are ec council conic solutions mercury solutions and many others so i think we have finally discussed all the points needed to become a professional security expert a cyber security expert or an ethical hacker if i missed any point please let me and other people know about it through the comment section as i say this channel is all about cyber security ethical hacking and technology related stuff 
you will get lots of knowledge on this channel if you want to start your career in ethical hacking and cyber security so please subscribe to my channel as i will keep posting videos like this in the future if you have any suggestions or queries do let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe like and share for more videos on cyber security and technology so until next video this is ansh signing off stay tuned keep watching and goodbye